said one of the girls who came to her, and they didn't know that the girl uh, had been trafficked. They thought she didn't have gang affiliation. And she read the book and loved it and said, I wish I had, a, had an Uncle Dre to come give me. And it just sort of like, wow. Well, I think, I think the audience, because we're all collectively human, we all collectively understand, and most important, everyone, we are talking about this. You read stories about it. It just doesn't happen overseas. Okay? It's here. Here in our neighborhoods. And the whole psychosis that you've heard today, read by these wonderful actors and actresses, is alive and well. And it's just, um, and also, it was also reflected in your responses and reactions as these actors and actresses were reading. We heard, oh, and wow, from you guys. So you know. And to have someone like you, Pamela, put this down on paper um, for people to read about is wonderful. The question I then have is, have you read the book to small groups of young women yet? Um, we, we were able to give the book uh, to um, the girls that I went with, and the group um, Missy, which is Motivating, Inspiring, and Supporting Sexually Exploited Me, bought 250 copies mm -hmm. of Gifted Girls. Um, the book is being considered for a, a list called In the Margins, which is, which is kids in probation. And, and so um, it's getting out there. I mean, I, I, the recent honor last week of being nominated for NAACP Image Award. <laughs> Like, you know, I've been writing since, this is my sixth novel. The first one came out in 2006. So it's like, it's, it's validation for me to be on that sure. list with Terry McMillan and Walter Mosley and Sister Soldier and Victoria Spermer. It's nothing short of validation. So, the, and the book is, the book is getting, is really, is really getting out there. So, um, it came out in November and um, I'll be pumping it for the rest of the year. <laughs> and beyond. Um, out of curiosity, are there any real life people that you based your characters on? In other words, <laughs> for example, Alpha. No, let's see. Apache. There we go. Apache. Apache is a family. He's on holiday already. He's on vacation. He's on property. I do. Um, the, the character Larissa, there's a woman in um, um, D.C. who takes to the streets and tries to talk these girls out of the streets. But you know, she knows. You know, they'll get, they would get beat if they actually if their pimp saw them talking to her. So sure. there are some real life warriors out there I'm who sure. are who are joining the fight. And these girls are black and brown who are who are really facing this. And it's and it's to spend the day with them. Um, a 13 year old girl was talking about how she was 13 years old, she got in the car, which was John, he put a gun to her head, made her undress, gave him head, and threw her out of the car. She went and told her pimp, he beat her up because she didn't get any money. Mm. Made the other sister wives beat her up. I mean, this is a baby, you know, and I had to write this book because it was, I could not believe what I was reading. And the more, I mean, I have news articles about all of this. I mean, you, you think about those two girls in Cleveland uh, who were held for a decade. Uh, it happens. It happens. And it's happening far more than we believe it is. And we have a friend who's a fireman. Uh, cops knocked on the door at the firehouse and said, you know, we, um, we believe that the house next door there's some trafficking going on. And they were like, no, anybody, we watch. Ain't nothing going on. What's going on? The house next door, there were traffickers in the house next door. To a firehouse. So it's in, it's in our neighborhoods. Yes, I, I just got back from the East Coast just about a week ago. And before I left, there was an article on the news that the Fairfax County Junior and Senior High Schools were adding a course on human trafficking to their curriculum. They were going to take work for each grade level. This was going to be taught in the public school because it was 
so random that they need to start telling kids as young as 12 in seventh grade, this is what you look out for. And the gangs actually are working together. There's a circuit between Oakland and LA, Atlanta to Birmingham. They're actually trading these girls. They want to get them out of the area, so less likely to find their connection with family. I'm sure. curious. Um, I've talked to a couple of two playwrights. We were fairly young, but they were telling me they had family members who were at, they show up at family reunions, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and they're all sitting around the table, and everybody kind of says, yeah, we all know it. The question is, based on your experience writing and researching and knowing about family dynam dynamics, what would you say to family, to people who have pimps in their family, and how to do it? Lord, do you? Hey, I would say they got to call the cops. I, I, say, I, say, I would have a conversation, because they know what they're doing. They to me, it's a phone call to the cops. And okay. I, I, I belong to Hope and Christ Community Church in uh, Compton. And a minister has read the book and just gone a whole hog and has talked about it and really put it out there. And he, told, and he called and said that after the service, a uh, young man came up to him and said, I've been, I, I've been doing I used to do this. And, and you know, we have this idea of the pimp and the hat and the hat. It's yeah. not that anymore. Right. The average guy here in the, in, the, in the jeans and the long white t shirt decides, I think I'll be a pimp. I'm going to go snatch some girls. And it's not, it, there's no thought in it. And it, the, you know, uh, uh, a friend of mine was telling me that uh, her daughter went to the beauty supply store and the guys were standing outside the beauty supply store where the young girls are coming in. I get the much cash I got. Come on, we, we can help you make some money. You know, it's, it's, they're recruiting. This is, this is a sophisticated operation because they're seeing lots of money and they have the internet to set up. But the other thing that I would say, and I'll, I see your, your hand up, is this, that how many of us continue to hear about young girls who are being accosted on the way to school? Yes. Attempted kidnappings? Yep. Your book has brought home the realization them out there by that that's yes. exactly what might be the objective yes. of these, these people. Yes. You know, and a friend of mine um, had a, a daughter who was 15. Uh, she just felt like she was just on the phone too long, too dog on us. She said, hey, you know, I'm taking your phone for a week just to give you a break. Dog got upset, didn't come home home from school the next day. She's all frantic, and she's called, you know, cops come, and the cop says, you know, does she have a Facebook page? She's like, no, she doesn't have a Facebook page. I, can't, I don't allow her on Facebook. Takes on his phone, puts in her name. Here's your daughter's Facebook page. She starts going through the phone. All these 30 year old men, her 15 year old has met, she's not calling them up. They start hanging up. You know, so this internet, if, if you have the internet in your home, the, inner, the, the, the predator is no longer lurking outside your child's school. He is in your bedroom. So I, 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 forget all this privacy stuff. Know what your child is doing on the internet. They did not appreciate. There are two, two young girls, two black girls who recently ran, ran off to meet, to meet some guys they met on who haven't been seen from. And there are a lot of those stories. You need to understand what your kids are doing on the internet. The predator is inside you. And you guys watch the BBC show to catch a predator. Come on. Yeah. Ministers, priests, doctors, all walks of law. So they got the thirst to demand. You need to start, to me, you need to, you need to work on the pimp, you just need to work on the demand. The LSC Attorney's Office actually has a, 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 a John school, just like traffic school. They were seeing so many repeat offenders, they set up kind of a, a scared straight for the Johns to, keep, to tell them the risk of constantly getting arrested. But think about that. 